Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer. Uh, not a super iconic guitar song, but there are some uh, small little uh, funky uh, accent guitar riffs in here. And uh, we can even arrange some of the uh, more iconic uh, like horn riffs and synth riffs or what have you for the guitar so we can make it more recognizable. Not, not a lot of straight up just like chord strumming and all that, but uh, a little bit towards the end. But I'll go ahead and uh, give you like the basic chord that's happening as these riffs are going on. So to kick it off, we'll just do uh, the intro here. And uh, this is what's going on um, during like the big horn uh, section there in the beginning. Um, it's real simple. It's just kind of a, a real faint, light, clean, a um, couple of D sharp notes here. So we could play it here at the 6 on the A. And it's just kind of a offbeat, um, you know, rest, and then uh, hit it on like the uh, second or third beat of the riff there, or measure there. So just a couple little uh, little strums. Okay, and then we're just going to do two of those a measure, so it's... Just like that, just real quick staccato couple of notes. Easy. <clears throat> okay, and for the uh, kind of the big horn section riff there, uh, we'll just figure that out for guitar here, so you can play it uh, via guitar if you like. It's going to be eight on the D, and then we'll go to six on the D. Okay, and then we're going to go nine on the A to six on the A. Okay, and we go four A. And then back to six. But while we do that, we're going to make this shape here where we're doing a, a little unison chord. So once we get to that four, we come back and we'll be at the six on the A and the eight on the G. Just so that we're getting those two unison notes, make it sound a little bigger. Okay, so. From there, then we just hit it once more, come up to 8 and 10, and then back to the 6 and 8. And then rest. this is going on if you just want to be strumming chords it's basically just a D sharp chord so you can just play it right there okay just six on the A and then eight 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 on the D G B you can just kind of strum it lightly in the background or just hit it once okay, and let it ring whatever if you want to do the chord for that it's right there it is all right and the second part of that horn riff starts the same way so we do the up to that point but then it's just going to slowly scale up higher and higher here okay so we get to this point and then we go six and eight again eight and ten and then we do nine and eleven okay, okay and then we do uh, nine and eleven again to eleven and thirteen and then end it on 13 and 15. Okay, so just up two, up two more. And then just rest it there, and you're good. Okay, so we'll try it here. Alright, 
and the chords going on during that. Of course, it's going to start with the D sharp. All right, and then we can take it all the way down to a B. And then we end it with the A flat. Okay, and uh, just to clarify, this is in a drop D tuning. Uh, so at this point, that comes into effect. We will notice it pretty much here and like during the chorus, there's a little part. But just make sure you're in that drop D tuning. Okay? Because you want to play that A flat, you'll be here at the 6th fret. Okay, so just to avoid any confusion there. Okay, and once we get to the verse here, uh, it's going to be kind of similar to the, uh, the intro, but we're just going to do kind of just one of the six, and then one more. Okay, so we're just offbeat hitting two six notes. All right, and then we're going to go six to four on the A. Simple, and then just hammer back on four to six. All right, repeat that uh, throughout the verse, and then we'll get to this chord change here where it's uh, a C minor. And uh, I think technically he just kind of hits that, that C bass note, and you can do that if you like, but you can also just throw in the full chord. So just throw in the C minor, bar the third, five, five on the D and G, four on the B. And just strum it once and let it ring out for uh, another three measures. Okay, and then right back into the verse. All right, chorus comes in. Uh, kind of just doing some light uh, accent picking here again. But we're gonna come down to the third fret here and we're going to hit that once, and then come to the fourth fret, and then just do a three, four, three. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do a one, three, one, three. Okay, and this is where that drop D really comes in effect. And kind of off beat, hit the one again, rest a little bit, and then hit the three. Okay. Okay. You can just keep it kind of loose with that. All right. And if you just want to do the chords for the chorus, uh, he's not really playing them in the song, but. Uh, if you're just trying to do some acoustic style or something, or just do basic chords for this. Um, pretty simple, it's just do a C to C sharp. Okay. And then do a F minor. And uh, since we're in drop D here, you can, you can either just try to get that bass note with it here, but I think you'd be fine if you just kind of do a everything but that top note. For the outro, uh, we're kind of going to be doing like we did with the uh, accent notes in the very beginning. Um, this is, you know, once the that flute part comes in again. Uh, so we're just doing the uh, double six notes. All right, six on the A there, the D sharp. But we're going to add an eight on the D just to get that five power chord out of it. All right, we're just going to do that double strum on that, short ones. eight measures out of that and then we just come up here to a nine and a nine on the E and the A so we get that B power chord okay four of those four measures and then just come down to the six and do that same thing Alright, 
That was Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer. Uh, not a super guitar heavy song, but uh, you can make it work for guitar. No sweat. And uh, some cool little uh, small guitar parts in there that are fun. Anyway, thanks a lot for checking it out. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something with this. Do me a favor and hit the subscription. That'd be cool. Uh, check out the links in the description box for uh, tabs and gear and all that fun stuff. All right. I'll check you next time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.